We are on our way to South 3. This is where we're going to have two stars and two lost puzzles to solve. Thank you for joining me today. This is Victoria's Principle 2. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very excited. We are closing in on the, the end game, but we've still got a little way to go yet. We've got some more puzzles to do, some, some of the lost puzzles and the stars. This is the last South area to uh, complete. And then we've got the three uh, West yeah the three west areas to do uh and then of course we can carry on with the uh the main part of the um the storyline we can complete the story uh of course we've got the golden gate puzzles to do as well like one was over there but so we need to do all the lost puzzles first so okay lost puzzle let's go in and let's find out see if we can get this done okay our first lost puzzle here out in the middle of the desert I wonder what happened if i was just to run in that direction remember in the first game when you ran in a certain direction then things got getting really weird and you got kind of teleported back in place but that wouldn't happen here but I wonder what would happen okay convolution right let's have a look around see what we have we have so red power coming out there with a the pressure plate we have a connector what does this pressure plate do okay okay I get that I understand what that would do um, so, we need red to open up this gate. We can come through here. Okay, blue would go there. I wonder then, could we get the angle? Let's see if I do this and this. Just kind of doing a little bit of testing. Oops, stand on it. Okay, no, so that doesn't get the angle from there. We're too far forward. All right. Uh, hmm, okay. Let's just pop this down here. Okay, yeah, actually, yes, look, we can get red from here. Uh, connect that and that. Pop that down on the pressure plate. Okay, that gets me the, the second one here. Okay, so we need blue then to be able to get through to the uh, the final place. What else have we got? An accumulator. Okay, so we need blue to be able to get through that. There's a gap here. Um, so blue. Uh, okay, we could use the two. Um, yeah, we can use these two connectors now. So we connect that. Uh, we would need it to be up higher. Well, let's pop that down on that. No, on connect to the blue and put it down on there. Okay. So I think, if I, if I was to do this, does it connect? Is it connecting? I don't think it's not. No, it's not quite in the right place. It needs to move on to these, the edge. It's a little bit finicky. It doesn't really want to be placed down there. So that should connect. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, okay, so now we can grab this. Unfortunately, that means I'm not going to be able to get through the gate there, am I? Okay, well, let's connect there and there. So that would work, but obviously I can't do anything because I'm stuck on this pressure plate. So this is obviously not, not what we need to do. I mean, if this was uh, on the pressure plate, could you see that from here? You could. You could see that from there. So if we could... Uh, if we can get that accumulator, I think that's probably how you do it then, isn't it? You just get the accumulator to be red. Um, by accessing that, then open up that, and we're good to go. That's what we need to do. So I just need to work out how to get that accumulator, and then puzzle solving is is uh, simple, I think. Okay, I've just had a thought here actually. If um, oh yeah, okay. Now if I connect that to there and to there, I can get that accumulator charged up. Uh, not quite, it's not quite in the right place. Move it over a little bit, there we go. So I can charge it up, because that opens up the gate and now it's charged. Right, so what I need to do is this needs to be in front of here. That'll, that'll work. So now uh, I need to connect that and that. Place this on top of here. Uh, come on, come on, place properly, there we go. 
So if I start on here, that's going to activate that one. It'll open up the gate and then it's connected to my legs. Come off it. There we go. So now I can take this. Uh, we can then reconnect uh, the reds. Get that back up and running. Right, so now I have the accumulator. Uh, oh no! Oh no, I just thought if I pick up that accumulator, this gate is going to shut. Oh, that's what this could be for then. Um, yes, okay, hold on. How do I do this? How do I do this? I need that accumulator out of here. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> um, I need... This is what I'm ultimately trying to get to. Okay, I'm a step closer. I do need... Okay. So I was thinking that, right, because we've got this kind of grill here. I was thinking, why is it there? I didn't really see it, but I guess it must have something to do with... with with the next step, but I can't quite see it just yet. I mean, I can I can take the accumulator. I guess I can move it around there. Uh, oops, connect. Oh, that might work actually. Yes, because I can now reposition this and connect it to that. And now, yes. Ah, okay. So that's not the solution I was thinking. I was thinking it would be able to. Um, Oh, as I said earlier, we'd be able to get it through here and whatever have you, but that works. That works. Oh, done it. Great. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't quite what well, I, was, I was thinking I had to do, but I will take it. We solved it. Okay, so we've got another lost puzzle then, and there are the two stars. Let's go and uh, see what we find first. Okay, here we go. This is the, uh, the next puzzle. Transfer. All right then. So we've got we've got a switch. But what, what does the switch do? Don't know. The wire goes up in there, but what it does, don't know yet. I mean, I could flick it. See, I guess. See what happens. Okay, that moves across. Okay, so we've got the red emitter there. Um, over this way. I've got a connector. Over this way, we have we need to get the red over here to open up this gate. Uh, what is that? Is that a driller? No, no, that, that well, that's the gravity thing. Oh, we've got to somehow get that. Okay, pop that down there because see what's in here first of all. Okay, we've got a fan and a connector. We'll take it. We'll look around. Okay, so well, I guess then let, let's try and see. Oh, I can't get these out, can I? Uh, right, okay, well, I can connect to the red there. Um, will they connect? Yeah, so they, they do connect through to there. What would be the best thing to do? Pop it down there, I would imagine, then. Grab this. Connect to that. I don't know how far down do we have to go. Oh, it's all the way down there. Uh, that might be possible, actually. Yeah, we can. That's good. We can get through. So now I can go and grab that. I'll take the the, uh, the gravity beam. Right. So let's just stick that down there for a second. We need to get red through here. So um, hang on. If I just let me go back up here for a second. From up here, can we see? Okay, we can easily see the red. Okay, so we just need one connector. We just need one connector. So that's what that is for, to get that across to here, I suppose. So how do we get it up? Yeah, I think that's what we need. Okay, so, oh, I guess then we probably actually need to use this. Oh, come on, I forget. Let me grab this. Get up to the top and create gravity beam. Okay, that's what I want. There. Okay. So it's 
yeah, it's doing its job. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have to get through there, though, aren't I? Uh, oh. Maybe that's to get this one out. That would make more sense, actually. So, what it would do... If I flick this, does the thing come with it? It does. Okay, that's cool. Um, right, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to re reposition that uh, gravity beam. Uh, I can't see it from here. I have to go up this way. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is uh, get it this way. Let's just get it to there for a second. Just see where that goes. Let me just jump down. Is it possible then to... Get beam? Yeah, I think that's, that's going to work. So we're going to grab this jump up here and that's going to take us both through here. Perfect. So I think I want that there. I would like to get off this please. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, so that's up there. We can get it across to, to that. Oh, do I still need... Okay, hold on. Now I think I need to possibly connect that and that. Um, I think I need to go back. So if I can change the positioning of this one to underneath here, does it still connect? No. But I can, I can shift this one. Let me shift it over a little bit to there. Oh, but of course that's not connected to the red now, is it? Uh, but that's... Oh, that would be fine if I could... Oh, I need to change things up. Let's bring this back to there. Back to there, okay. So now what I'm going to do is set this up. So this can connect... Uh, let's turn that around. I need to get the beam going down like that. There we go. So now, by placing this into the beam, there we go. So that's now at the top and still connected. Now I pull the connector across to this side. Uh, no, I need to do it here. And I need to... If I do that, that should pull it across. Because now, if I take that, can I see this? I can. I didn't even need to do that last step. I'm overcomplicating things. There we go. God, that was the mess that we got there. <sighs> Alright. Alright, we're done. Okay, last one's done. Now we have the stars to do, so uh, let's go and track them down. Alright, here's one. What is this? This is not uh, the connection. This is like the old puzzle thing. Okay. Okay. So in the center, right, so we've got three. We've got X there, an X there, and an X there. So there'll be three like switches or something to, to do at that point. We can orientate ourselves. So the central structure is there. Let's go and have a look. We've got that uh, picture saved. Uh, we don't want to fall down there. Right, let's, let's get down there because we know that there's going to be a, a central thing somewhere. Okay, so we come down the, uh, the bottom here. So we do have our, our research. We have our monuments here. And it is this one. So I need to figure out where I came down. I think I may have come down here. So I think, I think I'm here. So if I go uh, straight and then to the left, no, to the right, then that's 
possibly where where it is. So that, that's there. So we go straight across. Um, but it should be beyond this. So it should be like around. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I've done that one. Oh, I did do that one. Okay, I, I must have forgotten. Uh, that's fine. So we, we just need to the, the other two then. Assuming I didn't find any more. Where are we? Okay, so we're, we're here. So we do come that way and that way. So this then is over, would be, if I come back up here, and that'll, that will be the building to the left, and then this one up here, forward and left. Okay, let's go back up then, and uh, we should be able to orientate ourselves then. Okay, so coming out then, I think there's a, so there's a building like directly, like over there, I think possibly something, that one maybe? And then, I guess we'll look at this one first then. So it's around the other side. So I'm thinking it should be right on the, the end, like here. And there it is. Awesome. Okay, there's another switch. So then the other one uh, is going to be over in this on this building. Uh, whereabouts on that building is it going to be? So it's going to be on the far side. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking it's going to be over on this bit here somewhere. There it is. I see it. Okay. Not too bad. Fairly, fairly easy in the end. Right, let's go grab a star and then we'll go and find the other one. Okay, here she is. Grab a star. Give me your words of wisdom. In times of war, is it wisdom or folly to give a sword to a child? Ah, depends a good deal with it, I guess. <laughs> okay, right, let's move on to the next star, which is in that direction. I'll meet you over there. Oh no, it's one of these ones. Oh, these are complicated ones. So this is the one being to connect something to it. Uh, but this time it is red. They've all been green so far. Uh, I guess we'll go straight because this is where the... Um, well, you've got a little bit of a degree of freedom so to move around. We need to find a puzzle that we can connect it to. Something that can be seen up there. Okay, let me have a look around. So the things with this one, a lot of the puzzles are down there. So there's no way of connecting uh, to the statue, which is up on top of this hill up there. So I don't think it's going to be any of those ones. That building up there is not a puzzle, so it's not going to be that. So I'm thinking either it's going to be something like way over there, or it's got to be over this way. Let's check out this side first. Okay, so this could be promising. Puzzle number three is in clear sight of it, as long as we've got something inside of here that we can actually connect to. This one does have a bit of height because we can get up because we've got these things here. Let's uh, have a look up. Okay, so we can definitely see it from here. Are there any connectors in this puzzle? I vaguely remember this puzzle. So a lot of platforms and things. I don't remember there being a connector though. Oh, look at this. There is. There's a connector hidden in the corner of this puzzle that we would never would have seen, and I don't think it's needed for this puzzle. Oh, that's ingenious. <laughs> kind of. So, okay, we're going to have to fiddle with this around a bit, so that's going to have to go up there. We'll take this and go up. So the thing is, there's no, just, there's no power. There's no emitter in this one. There's my little dot. Okay, connected. Okay, so sure, we can connect to it there. Thing is, though, now we need to go somewhere else that has um, that has uh, an emitter to be able to connect to it, and that doesn't look like a great place to put it. There must be somewhere better to to place it. The only thing I can think of is something through there, but like there but this grill here could be a problem okay so even from outside here yeah that the grill on top of the thing there is going to block any anything you can't connect directly out from here so how do we do that one 
Uh, I guess then I, I could potentially say place this cube down here. Place that on top of there. That does mean then that that is above the grill, so you could potentially connect to something out here. Okay, I do have a, a red emitter in this puzzle, but I don't see that there's any way that I'm going to be able to connect. It is kind of it's directly opposite where we just were, the other side of this building. We, so you can't see anything. You, you can't get an angle on it at all. I can't even see where I'm supposed to be connecting to. It's over there. Let's keep on going round. Is that my imagination, or is that a blue uh, socket? Well, it looks quite large, but it is, and nothing's connected to it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> are we are we really connecting to that? Right, we have a connector. There is blue. Can we see it? We can. Oh my god, we can. Oh wow. Is that... Oh, I just saw something come up. Look at that. Is that that's a connector? Oh, that's insane. Oh, I can't believe I haven't seen that. I was, I was just thinking, oh, there must be something to connect to that building because there's nowhere else to do it. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to go back and that's what we need to connect to then. I can't see it now. But then we still need to connect something to that, but that means that we can connect it from pretty much anywhere, because probably like from, from over there or something. Is there a puzzle? There's a, there is a puzzle over there. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go do it. Alright, it's back here. Grab this. Now we should be able to see something up there. Yep. Select. Uh, connect. Right, so now we need red to connect to that. Uh, right, the passageway. There is going to be red somewhere. Okay, here. There's red there, but we can't see... Can't see it from there. Can you see it from here? No, we're completely blocked. I don't think it's this one. No, you can only see it from this position, like where this one is, but there's no... So we've got no other connectors in this one. We've just got one. And I know we've got all these kind of puzzles here. Maybe there's more about somewhere. Everything's kind of opened up for us, really. No, I don't think it's this one. I could be wrong, maybe I'm not looking around enough, but I think... Where else would it be? Oh, I've just noticed there's a question mark here. How could I have missed this? Wow, palm reader. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> uh, okay, uh, the riches. From a selective archive documents, uh, getting rich was the worst thing that ever happened to me, and I see that now at the end when the insight is useless. Not being poor was great, no longer having to worry all the time, being able to afford the best doctors, being able to go on holiday, being able to take care of my mother, but being rich it just isolated me. It changed every interaction with every other person, because suddenly I had the ability to change their life, to fix all their problems, and they knew it, and I knew it. A simple choice on my part could take away so much of their pain. Every interaction became infected by this inequality between us, it made me bitter, it made me feel every relationship even with family, was transactional. I was desperately looking for some generally human experience, but I seemed excluded from that now, and that made me resent everyone. What I didn't see, what I only see now as I'm dying, is that I could have used that money for good, all of it. I don't mean giving it to some NGO run by other rich people, I mean really using it. I love movies. How many indie movies could I have financed? How many books could I have gotten published? And how much could I have just built? Not another villa for myself, but things that would benefit civilization in general. Hell, I could have just given it away, made all those lives better, taken away that pain. And if at the end of the day I was only left with enough money to be upper middle class, so what? 
at least I would have been the person I wanted to be. Athena. Resource wealth has, uh, as such has no value. It only matters in terms of the ability to act. But what made this ancient human so unable to act? He can't have been a personal failing, as most people of similar wealth acted the same way. Uh, Cornelius. Perhaps the answer lies in scarcity, or a system built on it, naturally optimising towards resource accumulation. Historical circumstances, not individual sin. Miranda. But I have read about rich ancients who did act differently. They were rare, but they did exist. So it is possible for people to defy the will of history. Yeah, you can kind of identify with this a bit. Like, oh, I would love to have enough money to like not have to work anymore. Just to be able to go to the shop and not look for the things that are on offer. You know, if you want to buy yourself a nice bar of chocolate, you look for the one that's kind of got 50p off or something. You know, just, just to be able to just buy whatever you wanted. That, that, it's just that kind of freedom. But then... Yeah, you do have this, and if you have that kind of money that to, that you could just give some to someone and that would change their life, every time you make a choice not to give that, them that money, then that kind of that would weigh on you, I think. Okay, from Trinculo uh, to Athena, is it all a joke, isn't it? A giant prank perpetrated on us, on, on all of us. The goal of the founder, of the simulation. I don't even think you exist. I don't think biological humans ever existed either. What nonsense. I bet these messages just go into the mayor's inbox or straight to the recycling bin. You all suck, Lamau. <laughs> okay. It's kind of prone to some uh, conspiracy theories there, I think. Uh, from Hypatia Journals, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 676. After the chaos of the last months, quiet has returned to the city. I suppose we're calling it a city now, although this small collection of dwellings inhabited by mere 25 people seems to barely deserve that designation. I'd love to come up with an actual name soon. I suspect after the first one or two decades, calling it the city is going to get a little bit stale. Everyone has an opinion, of course. It's the talk of the town these days. I'm personally hoping that new Alexandria will win out in the vote next week, though I suspect Elohim's legacy carries the most weight. Byron came up with some silly suggestions like Constantinople, very New York, and Robot Paris. <laughs> Robot Paris sounds pretty cool. What was that? This one seems to be corrupted. It's almost like something tried to delete it as you were downloading it. Pandora, maybe. Interesting. All right, I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, let's continue on the hunt for a red emitter that I can connect to that. See, the thing is, over here now, I've lost sight of it. Oh, I'm very confused. I thought I was on to something. I thought I'd done it. But like, uh, okay, so the puzzle puzzle's in here. Centrifuge. Can we even see anything? We, you can't see anything from anywhere inside here. It's too much structure. Oh, um, that's not going to be an RGB converter. That's not going to be any use at all because I need red. There is a connector in there. Huh, let's just have a little. Uh, move around. What have we got then? We've got the connector. Is it any use? Okay, let me just take it out because we want it to, um oh, no, we're going the wrong way here. Here we go. So we want it over this way. And uh, okay, so the inverter that would potentially work. But where is even the where's the tower? Where even is it? Okay, it's over there. No, I can't see it. I can bring this over this way, I guess. Maybe can I connect it from here? That goes to there. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that'll work. Maybe. I don't think it would actually because that's blue and that's an inverter so we can only get red out. Which is kind of what we want to be able to connect to the other thing. Hmm. 
No, I can only connect to that. Is there a way then? <laughs> can I get blue out here? Okay, so I've come back to uh, this centrifuge puzzle because I really think that because I can see uh, the blue thing, where is it there? Because I can see that and connect to it, it has to be something. If I can get blue to work here, if I can, so we've got blue coming through here. Before, we were able to connect blue and green. So I need to figure out how to do how to just get blue out. That's really all I need. Can I connect from back here somewhere? Like, uh, almost. Okay, there I can. Oh, well that, that, oh, that'll work. Oh my god, that works. Because uh, I can use the converter on that, this side. You, I don't need. You, however. Oh my god, have I just, have I just finally done it? Okay, we connect red to that. Oh my god, okay, we've got blue, we've got blue! So now I can go back and I can I can convert that other one to red. Because I don't need that one connected anymore. Oh, this one was exhausting. <laughs> um, I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes now to, uh, to get these. Uh, that's including all the lost puzzles on the other star. But just to get you an idea of how much I've cut out this video of me running around just trying to think about what to do. Right, reconnect. So we reconnect to that. And now I need to connect to red. So there must be a way of doing this. Um, what have we got? So red is here. Are there any more converters or connectors rather? That just comes out of there. Okay, we've got another another connecting here. Uh, so now I need. Uh, I guess it would have to be here. Okay, let me just try and open up these two segments. Oh, they're the two next to each other though. Okay, hold on. If I do this, this could work. Okay, connect that to that. And where the other one go there? Can I bring you back here? There it is. Uh, I haven't heard the sound for the star. Is it not all connected yet? Hang on, no, that doesn't look like that's working. Hang on. Nope. I need to reposition this. It's being interrupted somewhere, isn't it? Oh, okay, we're almost there. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'm speechless. That was exhausting. Try, trying to pick that one out. That that was the probably the most difficult one. I mean, there's been some very difficult ones. Those connection puzzles are definitely the hardest ones to, to do. But man, the feeling of satisfaction when you got it done, that was awesome. Oh, there's a, there's a relic. Oh, <laughs> so glad I just happened to see that one. Um, strange vehicle. This odd device appears to be some form of transportation. It seems hard to imagine its practical uses. Perhaps it was employed in some form of entertainment, such as a vehicular form of medieval jousting. <laughs> exactly it was. It's a bumper car. Or a dodgem if you prefer. Ah, oh. Man, that's so fun. Alright, Star. Give me your words. There is no tool that is not also a weapon. And no human that would not wield it as one. Um, yeah, I guess you could use anything as a weapon, really. I don't know. Can it, okay, if you can think of a tool that would be impossible to use as a weapon, let me know in the, in the comment section. 
Oh, but for now, this area is done. I'm exhausted. I'm going to call it a day there. Thank you for watching today. We've got three more areas to go. Um, I'm wondering whether they're going to be getting harder and harder as we go along. It's entirely possible. Uh, but yeah, we've got three more areas to go. And then we've got the Golden Gate puzzles. I guess we have to go around and do every single one as well. There's one in each area. And then we move on with the story. I kind of feel like, I don't know, I don't know not many people watch these videos anyway, but um, hopefully people aren't getting kind of fed up or, you know, waiting for the, the story to, to continue. Because the story is awesome. I actually love this game and all of this, yeah, the story of it. And I really want to find out where it goes, but I do need to do all these puzzles first. Uh, so let's just double check that we are. Yeah, so Lost Puzzles are all done. We've got the stars done in all of them. Um, stars, stars, yeah. So basically we have two puzzles and one star there. Two puzzles, two stars. Two puzzles and one star. So yeah, if they're easy, we'll be able to get more than one area done at a time. But um, if not, we've got another maybe two or three episodes to get that done. And then we have all these areas have a golden gate I have a gold puzzle to do as well. So we've still got a long way to go. This is going to be a long old series. I'm kind of, I really want to get this finished now. As much as I will miss it when it's gone. I uh, kind of, I want to see the conclusion. But yeah, brilliant. Okay, thank you for watching. I won't keep you any longer. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.